A big turn of events on the Shill candidate allegedly planted by a former state senator in the November election. Alex Rodriguez taking a plea deal earlier today. And local 10 News reporter Glenna Milberg is live in Northwest Miami Dade with the details on that. Glenna. It is pretty big, and this is the place in Northwest Miami Dade where Alex Rodriguez comes to get his GPS ankle monitor for his 36 months probation. That was the plea deal. This is the now admitted shill candidate who is a struggling auto parts dealer who now becomes the most valuable witness in the case against former state Senator Frank Artiles, of course, who's accused of paying Rodriguez to be that shill and throw an election. I'm deeply sorry for my actions and I want to apologize to my family, my loved ones, my friends for putting through this. Remorse yeah. is part of the deal and so is his testimony. You shall cooperate in the case of the state of Florida versus Frank Artilis. You must supply complete and truthful testimony and information to attorneys, law enforcement officers and the court. We've been looking for Alex. Is he around? Uh, no. Alex Rodriguez lied to us when we found him last November. That's no crime. Lying on campaign documents is, and so is taking money to file as a no-party candidate to rig an election. But Rodriguez is the small fish here. He flipped to testify against the accused mastermind and money man, former state senator Frank Artiles, who's accused of recruiting and paying off Rodriguez to be a shill candidate. Your lawyer said you were cooperating fully. Prosecutors began their investigation the day after our first report last November detailing the Shill scheme. Since then, they've uncovered a money train and a people trail that include connections to Republican operatives and big money donors. I would like to publicly offer sincere apology to the residents of Florida District Senate 37, including former Senator Jose Javier Rodriguez, to the people of Miami-Dade County in the state of Florida, and anyone else that was affected or harmed by my actions. Thank you. Both Rodriguez and Artiles, they were arrested in March and they've been out on bond since soon after. So now with this plea, Rodriguez starts his probation three years worth. He can cut it short after a year if he provides everything he promises to provide against Artiles. And then when Artiles' case is resolved one way or the other, Rodriguez, without this plea, he faced 20 years in prison. I'm Glenna Milberg, live in Northwest Miami Day today, Local 10 News.